Ozark Fox AM. Well, good morning there, y'all. How you doing? <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Ozarks Fox Sam. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Kelly Smith. Hey, that reminds me, I've got a t-shirt that says, hey, y'all, remember oh. where we got it? Mountain View, Arkansas. That's right. We did a show down there. Yes, we did. Yeah, that was fun. Not to be confused with Mountain Home. Yeah, Mountain View. Mountain View we were yeah, in. Yeah, there's lots of mountain country mountain. down there. <laughs> And Arkansas is one of the most beautiful states. I just oh, love it. Oh, so it's beautiful. so beautiful. I pretty. love, I went to school in southern Arkansas, but I you really did. love northern Arkansas. Yes, and that's closer uh, to us. To us. Yeah. And we, I, we should wear that shirt someday on the show. We the, should. The y'all shirt. Yeah. Hey, y'all. That's such a cute shirt I have. I, like I forgot it. I had it. I like it. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Um, speaking, Kelly, I just, I don't want to be rude. Oh, please but don't. But <laughs> can I just tell you, leading up to today's show, your stomach has been growling so much. Oh, I know. <laughs> Loud. I am so hungry. We've been eating on the show so much lately that I'm just kind of gearing up for that. But guess what? I don't think we've got any food today. No food today. I was just going to show you some food I had over the weekend, though, because you know. Uh, it's like the word of the day. I, I know. I'm look. sorry. I can't. But look. you know how I don't really care for watermelon. Do you know what I ate all weekend? What? Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Yes, I did. Guess what I had for dinner Saturday night? Watermelon. Watermelon. Should look at this picture. This is, I'm not kidding you, Kelly. This is a game changer. Okay. This changed my life. I went to Progress on the south side right. of Farmers Park. Uh -huh. And this is a watermelon salad. Let me just tell you what is on uh, this. Please. Two slices of watermelon, seedless. There were no seeds. Mm -hmm. On top are cucumber. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what the herb is on top, but it was delicious. On a goat cheese bed. That's okay, goat cheese. I, I, I was like, is that ice cream? It's goat cheese. It's, it's amazing. Cheese. And then between the slices, I can't remember what it is. It looked like, I think it might be, it looked like fettuccine, but it wasn't. Okay. Because it was not a noodle, but it had that same shape, like right. ribbons. Chef Daniel Ernst at Progress, they would posted that photo last week. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I have got to go try that just because it looked amazing. Right. And I don't like watermelon. That made me like watermelon in that setting. It All was right. well, I, unbelievable. That looks amazing. I'd love to try that. I'm going to try to get Chef Daniel on the show to make it on the show. Okay. I just ate a whole watermelon. You will, if you love watermelon, you're going to even love the sandwich more. I, I mean, the salad want more. that so much. And so I don't good. know if we, we don't have a lot more time, but I want to show you. I was going to share my plants with you, my tomato plants. Let's just check this out. This is a little vine here. Uh, hopefully they've got the photo. Yeah. Uh, the, the little cherry tomatoes. <gasps> nice. Those? Okay. Yes. Well, that is now ripped off by a couple little culpr culprits. Are, that you, I have. are you kidding I, me? I posted that. a video over the weekend. I said, now, which one of you did this? Yes. Uh, Wait, Harley so, or Oh, it was your dog? Yeah. I yeah. thought it was a wild animal. No, no, no. They, they're, they're pretty wild. But well, they at least they laughed at me. But I'm telling you, those animals out in the country love them yeah. tomatoes. No, um, the dogs ripped it off. They didn't eat them. And I heard from our friend Ingrid Fair that that, that could be toxic to them. There's probably a lot of things <gasps> right. out there that could be in, my, in the life. You're saying tomatoes of, could be toxic? That's what Ingrid said. She my said dogs if, if they ate too many. Tomatoes. Oh, boy, you better talk to her and see. Oh. But anyway, they were super cute. I did a little video and, oh, yeah. But there's more. There's more. So hang on. You'll get okay. some. you got to guard those better. I'm get your gun. <laughs> get your gun and, and sit out there, Kelly. Get your gun. <laughs> Just sit there guarding your tomatoes. That's what I need to do. <laughs> All right, it's time to switch gears because you know who's waiting patiently over mm -hmm. there. Just listening to us. <laughs> Just ramble. ramble on and on and on and on. And Jen's just sitting there going, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Jennifer I'm, Abreu. you. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm listening, you know. It's just like people at home. I'm just here, yeah, I'm listening yeah. to your yeah. weekend stories. What happened over the weekend and the tomatoes. Yeah. I love watermelon. I also oh. want to try that. And I was wondering what was, was it yogurt? But you said it's goat cheese. It's a goat cheese, goat cheese blend cheese. of something. Great. That's good. Yeah. It's so delicious. And speaking of being hungry, Kelly, mm -hmm. I'm also kind of hungry right now. Still trying to figure out what time do we eat on this crazy schedule yes. of being here exactly. so early and uh, we have some more food to show you also mm. this is a mac and cheese thing that you a food dispenser mac and cheese dispenser Stouffer is coming out with this huh? um, yeah so they it will have an internal heater and we'll keep it the pre-cooked mac and cheese in there at serving temperature basically like a nacho cheese dispenser is what it is but it's got the warm noodles in there and you just pull the lever <laughs> creamy mac and cheese well, that's falls just, out of the thing. Weird. What do you think? <laughs> it's crazy. You, it probably tastes good, but it's kind of gross. See, I don't, I don't think it's going to taste good. Some people you don't. Some people think it's a great idea because it's convenient, right? It's convenience, yeah. just like anything else. I can see this maybe at a gas station you or something know, like you that. You know, I see this at Jen? at the ballpark. Yeah. The first thing I thought of was the movie theater. Because uh, you, you know go. how you get that nacho oh. cheese with the chips? Uh -huh. That's right. I could totally see this at a movie theater. Something like that. 
Well, that would move but, a little faster than some other places, I would think, maybe. Yeah, at a movie but theater. I don't I know. Don't. I'm open to trying it just to see what it's going to taste like, but I don't trust it. It doesn't look know. very appetizing. Uh, yeah, it, it'll have Jen, to blow could, my mind. could you buy one and bring it to the station, please, and do it? The, the whole dispenser? The whole thing, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'll figure something out. Okay, good, We can you. borrow one maybe for a day or two. I don't know. So, <laughs> we'll see what we can do, Jeremy. Okay. All right, our next headline, is, this is a sweet story. This is a 1935 letter signed by Winnie the Pooh. Aww. So, a uh, little boy uh, sent a letter to Winnie the Pooh asking, inviting him to his birthday party. And then the illustrator, Winnie the Pooh, drew, drew it and wrote the letter, wrote a letter back, sent it to him. Um, anyway, this is from 1935. This letter has now sold at an auction for $15,000. Wow. That's triple what they were expecting, but how sweet. That I is love so that. Sweet. I and love that. And how special as a kid for you to yes. receive that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. That's so wonderful. I love that people go out of their way to do nice things for mm -hmm. others, you know? Yeah, that must have meant so much. I mean, as I a kid. I love that somebody kept that all those years, I too. Know. You know, yes. you because yeah. over your lifetime, you move a lot. And you get rid of stuff and you, you know, get rid of this and get rid of that. And you're right. I'm so glad they saved that. I did. Yeah. I do too. Absolutely. And now it's worth more than they thought it would. Now it's moved on to another family. Some I love winning the pool. Yeah. And not to he bring you down, but I saved a letter from my grandmother. She Aww. wrote it to me, handwritten letter, mm -hmm. about six months before she died. Aww. And I've kept it. I mean, I moved it to college with me, every home yeah. I've had. And to me, it's like those handwritten letters... Yeah. There's something so special about that. You cannot put a price on that. Yeah. Absolutely. I just, it's just you save that forever and you can see the handwriting and the and love. Everybody, yeah, they have their special. My grandmother's handwriting, too. Just I have a little thing. Kelly, I'm at the store. I'll be right back. You oh, know, I, I love just that. Got that. Yeah. And it's wonderful. Little things like so that. Sweet. The, the simple things in life. Yeah, That's you got to right. keep it forever. Yeah. yeah. Thank Thanks, you, Jen. Jen. We yeah. appreciate you. You've uplifted us this yes, morning. Yes, we are. <laughs>